Hello everyone and welcome to the South Texas College Database Spotlight videos. This episode we will be showcasing the database Jove. I'm Anna, an academic outreach librarian here at South Texas College, and I will be your guide. This is our library website. It's easy to find. All you have to do is type in library.southtexascollege.edu. I'm going to show you where to find our databases. The first one is here in our discovery search bar. Under focus search, you'll see databases. And the next one is on the left hand side under research tools. Again, you will see databases. You can search all of our databases by the subject areas or the type. I'm going to choose not in discovery. And then I'm going to choose J for Jove. If you are looking for a database that will help you increase your scientific knowledge, then Jove is the perfect one for you. It is comprehensive, detail-oriented, and time-saving. The first section that I would like to show you is Jove Core. They recently added chemistry, and all of these areas contain many lessons of concepts being taught in undergraduate classes. Each chapter contains multiple lessons that lead you to specific subject areas. For example, if I choose classifying matter by state, I will be led to the lesson where there is a helpful video explaining the concept as well as a summary of the lesson. You can find the transcript of the video on the right and if you want to move to a different chapter, the table of contents is located right above the video. Jove Lab Manual is the next area that I want to show you. For anyone who is having trouble with lab, or for those who just want to know how some experiments work, this is a great tool. It shows the lab preparation setup. It gives you a brief video and summary explaining the concept of that area. And then it goes over the lab procedure and experiment through text and video. Next, on the main page, you will find sections pertaining to different areas in the sciences, from basic biology to environmental science to engineering, clinical skills, or psychology. Once you click a section, you'll still be able to find all of the other sections on the left-hand side. Each lesson will provide information on the concept and describe it using visual aids. There's an overview, explanation of the concept, there's either key questions in the video or it will show you how experiments are done explaining the content. No matter what is being taught, I like how these videos always have an application of the experiments going on in today's world, as well as a summary of everything that was taught for that lesson. If you are interested in research and want to know more experiments that are taking place, you can go through different areas in the research tab located on the top of the page. But if you already know what you want to search for, you can use this search bar that is located on the main page. Let's say you want to look up fluorescence. Once you hit search, there are two different columns. One is for research and the other is for education. You can also filter or use the limiter that is at the top. 
If you only want to find information or experiments from the last five years, you can use this publication date. If you already know the author of the search that you're looking for, you can go here, or the institution that did it, you can also go here. And you can also choose just the subject areas that you're wanting. The last thing that I wanted to point it out, every time that I went back to the main page, I used the back arrow uh, instead of using this Jove marker on top because this Jove marker will take you to a different area. You'll still get the same information, but it won't be the same initial area that you see when you come in from the South Texas College Library website. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of the Database Spotlight videos. I hope I was able to help you learn your way through the database Jove, and I hope you'll join me next time for the next video. Thanks! Bye!